Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my new channel, Nick's Picks, where I'm gonna be reviewing lots of different products. Um, everything that has to do from camping, survival, outdoor, backpacking, and also I'll be uploading some videos about some cinematography equipment. Um, those are kind of my two passions. But today, this video, I just bought the iCan Explorer bag. Um, I just sold my other camera bag it was a Sony bag and I had nothing, no complaints about it really. Um, I just, I've had it for a couple years. I wanted something new. Um, so I was kind of shopping around, reading reviews on everything. And this one was in my price budget. Um, I picked this up on B&H for right about a hundred bucks. Um, I get a lot of my gear off Amazon also, but Amazon had this bag too but it was still up at around the $160 range, I believe. And the date is um, March 2016, by the way. So if the price fluctuates, that's just what I paid for it during this time. Um, but the reason I went with this bag, like I said, it was in my price range, which I wanted a, um, around the $100 mark again for a nice backpack. Um, some of the things I was looking for also was a backpack that can not only fit my camera gear, um, which consists of um, a DSLR type camera, a few lenses, um, and then I have a lot of GoPro accessories as well. Um, but I also wanted something that gave me the option where I could fit my laptop in it too. Um, this one here, the front pouch, there's a zipper that unzips, and it fits up to a 17 inch laptop. Um, the only complaint I have with it so far, I mean, it has some padding, you can feel. However, I st still don't think it's quite enough, so I'm probably gonna end up purchasing another a sleeve for my, my MacBook Pro, um, just to give it some more extra cushion. Um, but it fits up to a 17 inch laptop, which is nice. Um, the material that it's made out of, it's made out of waterproof canvas, which is something else I wanted to get that's a little more, water water resistant canvas um, because I do a lot of outdoor shooting and I wanted to make sure my equipment's going to be safe if I'm out um, shooting nature things. Um, other features of this bag, the top has a clamp so if you have a lot of heavy equipment sometimes the zippers like to come unzipped and then your gear has a potential to fall out. Um, so this one has a nice clip so it doesn't do that. Let me unzip this here. So this is the inside of it. As you can see, plenty of gear. Probably more space than I need for all the equipment I have. I'm soon to be upgrading to uh, E-mount series from, uh, from Sony. Um, and a lot of their cameras, the E-mounts especially, are really small and lightweight. Um, which is one of the things I've been wanting to move to since I do a lot of backpacking and trekking. I wanted to move to more lightweight gear, <clears throat> gear which also includes um, the gear I shoot on as well. So um, this is probably a little more room than I need. However, like I said, I wanted something that gave me the option where I could carry my laptop inside of it too. So what I'll probably eventually end up doing is taking half of this out and turning it in, turning it into like a day pack where I can also fit my uh, my sleeping pad, my tent, my um, sleeping bag, all my lightweight gear, it should fit in this real nice. Um, also on the flip side here, it has compartments that are see-through, which is really a nice feature. Right now I just have a couple extra GoPro batteries, uh, backpack batteries on the top. But you can fit uh, anything from SD cards, lens um, filters, um, I have a neutral density filter I'll probably end up throwing here. More GoPro accessories, that sort of thing. So um, it's nice to have that as well. Um, another cool design about this bag that I really liked when I was checking out bags was that most bags, they fit the tripod on the sides, which is fine. Um, sometimes, I know with my past bag, sometimes when I'm going in and out of doors, um, it hits it can hit the door and if you have glass doors like I do at work <laughs> that's kind of frowned upon so the cool thing I like about this is it actually centers your tripod right in the middle portion of the backpack and this catches the legs so it's not constantly hanging down 
So it sits in this, this little groove which you can loosen um, and open up and then you tighten it back so it doesn't fall out and then this thing holds the head of the tripod. Um, so that's a really cool design that I, I thought I was going to appreciate and like a little bit better. And the cool thing too, this bag has a lot of loops. I believe they sell a lot of different accessories like this. This actually velcros and comes out so if you don't have a tripod you're taking with you, you can actually just take this thing right off so you don't lose it. Um, but they also have other accessories I believe that will actually do the same thing here. Like I know they have one for, that will fit like a water bottle holder. Um, stuff like that. You also have them on the strap, front straps here too. Um, also, I really like the belt strap that goes around the waist too. It just it fits you more secure and it kind of helps distribute the weight, in my opinion. Um, so that's another thing I was kind of looking for with a nice uh, backpack. Um, I've read a couple other reviews on it, and the only thing I'm slightly worried about, they said sometimes if you have too much weight on this uh, backpack, the stitching right at the shoulders starts to tear, um, <laughs> which is definitely not good, especially with a backpack of this size. And you're, I mean, it, it can fit a lot of gear in it, so you would think that they would design something that could you know, be really, really durable and not tear, but some people said they have experienced some tears. I hope I don't run into that. I think something I'll just kind of make sure that's always fastened tightly. They have these other straps here you can tighten, which will hopefully take some of the, the weight off the, sh the thicker sh uh, shoulder straps that go around your shoulder. Um, so make sure to keep these tight. Um, the bottom is also water resistant too, so you don't have to worry about setting it down and water getting soaked in as well. Um, also, it, if you're in very bad weather, it also comes with a nice uh, a rain cover as well. So if it's really coming down, you can throw that over it just to give it some extra water protection, all that sort of thing. Um, that kind of wraps it up for this uh, this review tutorial. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up video within about a month or two just to kind of see how it stands the test of time because um, I plan on going outside and doing a lot of shoots and using this bag. So thank you for watching. If you like tutorial review type videos, um, please like the video and subscribe because like I said, I just bought a lot more gear, a lot more outdoor gear and soon to be purchasing a lot more uh, camera equipment as well. So if you appreciate these videos, please subscribe because um, there's more coming. Thanks.